Hi, welcome back to the People's Pest Control YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to spotlight one of our most recent blog posts. So without further ado, Robert, take it away. Thanks, Jennifer, and thank you for watching our video about how to get rid of Indian meal moths. Indian meal moths are the most common pests found in stored food. They can infest a wide variety of dry foods. These include dry pet food, flour, cereals, spices, soup mixes, grains, pastas, nuts, and bread. The best way to avoid meal moths is with proper food storage. Once an infestation develops, the main steps in getting rid of the bugs include disposing of infested foods, followed by cleaning food storage areas. The best way to control meal moths is to prevent them from getting into your food stores in the first place. Meal moths usually get into stored food when they are brought in with infested food. Avoid buying meal moth friendly foods that have broken packaging. Also check dates and don't purchase or bring into your home or business moth friendly foods that are old or expired. You can read the full blog post entitled How to Get Rid of Indian Meal Moths on our website at getpeoples.com. We have a link directly to this post under the video in the description box. In addition to our blog, be sure to check out the rest of the People's Pest Control website. We have over seven sections dedicated to helping you learn more about us and why we are the absolute best choice for pest control in Atlanta and across northern Georgia. Do you have pest control questions? No problem. On our website, you can find tons of answers, customer testimonials, service areas, our contact information, details about our residential and commercial pest control services. After visiting us online, email or call us directly, and we will be happy to answer any pest control questions you might have. Learn more about why Peoples is the ideal company for all of your pest control needs on our website at getpeoples.com. And finally, make sure to check out the description box below this video, where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles. Thanks for watching, and now let's take it back to Jennifer. Thanks, Robert. Now it's your turn. If you liked this video, click on the thumbs up icon and on the subscribe button below this video. After that, make sure to check out the description box where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles.